Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a few things that I purchased at the Goodwill. I was dropping off some clothes the other day and I thought I would step inside and see what I could find. Stand behind the line. So I ended up finding some beautiful Noritake china and um, I found these saucers and the plates and I already have a full set in my china cabinet that looks very similar to this one. Oh, so many times before, no one's buying I also found this really cute creamer container and it was originally from Pier 1 and everything but the plates were 40% off. I also found these really cute candlesticks, candle holders. Um, I am going to paint them white and I'm going to show you how I do that and I am going to show you how I distress them and I will be distressing them um, using acetone and Q-tips and paper towels. So first I'm gonna take the tags off and I'm going to wash these really well before I paint them. And I have read that using one of these with just cold water, you can take the tags off. So I am going to see if it really works. And if it does, then I will be so happy because I hate when stores put the stickers right on like the picture frames or a part of an item that you get. And it's really hard to get that glue off like this right here. It's like real sticky right there still. So I'm going to see if these little scrub daddies work. So let's just give it a try. So I guess they worked okay. There was still a little bit of the glue left on there, but it did come off pretty easy. So for the most part, I was pretty happy with it. Okay, so this is the paint that I'm going to be using today. Um, I have purchased the chalk paint spray paint before and that one works really well. Um, I'm gonna try this one and um, then I will let them dry and then I will show you how I distress them. Okay, so I want to show you, if you can see this, the paint that got on my hands. I know I should have wore gloves, if you can see that. Anyways, when you get spray paint on your hands like this, sometimes it's really hard to get off, but I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna use a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of baking soda, and a little bit of dish soap. You can use regular soap too, but this is how I usually take the paint off of my fingers. So I will just take a small amount of coconut oil and I will mix it with some baking soda and some dish soap. And then I'll just rub it on until it rubs all the paint off of my fingers. paint. 
well there's a little bit on my nail right there but for the most part it took off the paint and it was pretty easy So now I'm going to wash the china that I purchased and I will be washing it by hand and I'm going to be using the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Dish Soap in Geranium Scent. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a Tazo chai latte, and you just take this chai concentrate and you mix it with some creamer of your choice. I use the almond milk, and you can use regular milk or a plant-based milk. I'm using the almond milk in this as well. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to add some of your chai tea and then a little bit of the creamer and then the milk and then you stir it up and it tastes so good. Okay, so it is the next day. I did let them dry overnight and um, I'm gonna show you how I use a nail polish remover and q-tips and you're gonna want to use the 100% acetone because the regular nail polish remover does not work as well Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you left me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you and be sure that notification bell is turned on so you are notified when I upload a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.